Hi everyone and welcome to today's morning report on Thursday the 10th of September with me Richard Perry Market Analyst at Antec Markets. You have been trading session, it's got off on the back foot really, uh, it is negative but it actually isn't as negative as it was when it opened up and certainly not, um, certainly much better than the futures were suggesting anyway. Um, that, um, has, that sort of negativity has come on the back of uh, a decline on Wall Street overnight, actually down 1.4% on the S&P 500 and well below uh, what, where the market had been trading earlier on in the session. And also we've had some disappointing data out of uh, Asia overnight, also Chinese uh, PPI falling worse than expected to minus 5.9%, uh, minus 5.5% had been the expectation, so continued concerns about the slowdown in the economy there and the deflationary impact um, coming through. And also we've had uh, disappointing Japanese manu uh, sorry machinery orders as well um, so uh, pretty much across the board negative data but we're just re rebounding actually um, what we have got let me just show you is treasury yields first of all let me show you the dollar which is continues to sort of buzz around really no real trend there on the dollar but the treasury yields sharply lower looked like earlier on in the session yesterday we were breaking out on the 10 year possible head and shoulders reversal on your technicals there but it closed well down and um, there's a slight rebound today but also the fact is that we had the um, two year tr uh, treasury yield as well falling away intra session so um, Bit of um, bit of sort of a turnaround in sentiment there, and I think also the fact is that we've got these um, the oil price which fell away, uh, to closing towards the low of the day yesterday, and uh, putting pressure onto the downside. But that has recovered slightly today, and I think that is sort of reflective of this improvement in sentiment that we're having. Um, yeah, as this sort of session has sort of gone into its second hour for the Europeans. But uh, certainly there's a little bit of an improvement going on. And I think that's, as I said, being reflected in this improvement in the oil price that we've had in the last hour or so. Um, in terms of volatility, we've still, I mean, look at that VIX actually dropped away earlier on in the session yesterday, bounced back sharply. So volatility is still elevated. And obviously that is reflective in these equity market moves. Now, FX. Um, as I said, we've got um, the dollar sort of uh, playing around, really, not really showing much of a trend. Bit of um, sort of neutral day in terms of euro, sterl euro and sterling, but interesting moves that we're seeing across the commodity um, uh, FX as well. We've got the Aussie dollar, which has bounced strongly, 0.7% up or 50 ticks on the day, and that has come on in the wake of better than expected um, unemployment data out uh, from Australia but early on in the session overnight we had the Kiwi um, dollar sharply lower 1.4% um, lower 80 ticks down on the day now that came on the back of uh, a rate cut from the RBNZ now that rate cut was expected but still the um, the Kiwi fell sharply um, overnight but uh, it's just beginning to claw some of those losses back but still under a lot of pressure on the session so, what have we got to look forward to today? Well, we've got the Bank of England meeting, um, giving its uh, monetary policy statement at 12 o'clock. That also comes with the minutes of the Bank of England meeting uh, from the MPC. Now, there's no expectation of a rate, cut, uh, of a rate hike, but um, it's all about how many people vote for a potential rate hike. Uh, now, it was eight, an 8-1 eight, an eight split last month with Ian McCafferty being the sole dissenting voice. Is there going to be um, anyone joining him today? It's unlikely, it's not expected, um, uh, and uh, it's likely to be still 8-1 um, voting for that rate uh, rate hike, so no real change on monetary policy expected there. But uh, the minutes will be certainly looked at uh, for any signs of uh, a dovish move or even a hawkish move, but more than likely, in, in light of the recent market turmoil, possibly a dovish move on the minutes. And also we've got the, uh, uh, the US jobless claims coming out at... 1.30. Uh, those US uh, weekly jobless claims, again, pretty much in line, sort of 2.75 is, is the expectation there, so no real change from last month. So that takes me to my chance today, which is the DAX. Now, 
we had a sharp intraday reversal yesterday. It looked initially um, during the morning session, uh, during the morning part of the uh, trading, that uh, DAX was breaking higher through this resistance band, 10380 uh, 10, to 10430. But a sharp intraday reversal yesterday saw that falling away again. And uh, we've opened up lower today. We've actually sort of almost come back to fill that gap at, uh, which was the breakdown gap at uh, 10301. 10.293 is the uh, rebound high today, so almost filling that gap, but it would be very interesting to see what happens now because uh, these momentum indicators are actually fairly positive. You've had this crossover on the MACD lines, you've had the nice bull kiss on the stochastics, RSI is looking alright as well, so m momentum has, is actually pretty positive and pretty much pointing towards um, further sort of test of these resistance levels. Um, you've had this sort of down... Um, Opening lower on the um, on the uh, uh, sorry, this trading lower at the open today, but slightly sort of recovered some of that uh, loss, and certainly the, you'd stay that that sort of unwound some of the move we've seen, and um, perhaps the um, indicators are sort of more range bound than breaking higher. But certainly at the moment, that support has come in. You've let you've seen a low today of 10.209, so that is your initial key support around about 50, 60 ticks away from where we are now. Um, and then it, we, you need to see the DAX probably holding onto that because that is a line of support around that sort of 10,300 level, um, which uh, would sort of also denote yesterday's low as well. So you've had this sort of disappointing open on the DAX, but it's sort of fought back a little bit with the bulls uh, today, but you need to hold on to these supports, I think, to maintain this sort of uh, suggestion that um, the indicators are still improving on this DAX chart. But um, it's very interesting trades trading going on in the equity markets, very volatile still, very much choppy, no massive suggestion of a breakout. I mean, yesterday's breakout could even be dis dis uh, suggestive of um, a false upside break, which is very bearish, but at the moment um, it's sort of holding on. But if it falls away and uh, retreats back towards the initial sort of um, support that comes in around 10300, then um, we could be in for further falling away and maybe even a retest pulling back towards that 10,000 level again with that reaction low on the... Um, on the 4th of September, but uh, very interesting moves we're seeing on equity markets, still very volatile and uh, not really any sustained sign of a breakout. So I wish you good luck in your trading and I will speak to you later. Thank you.